welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is the Argonaut and this is about uh, you know starting something brand new. This could be even about traveling to do your work somewhere else. Uh, this is about making a new fresh start somewhere um, and you know um, doing something that's groundbreaking, something that's very different. So almost like, you know, um, being an explorer, something uh, brand new coming in for you, uh, starting off, um, you know, with new ideas, uh, a change in direction from what was the old, what was, you know, um, considered to be normal. You are now taking things to a different level over there with the Argonaut. So almost like a pioneer. Uh, you got the perplexity card over here. So there's some kind of decision that you have to make that you're very anxious about. Uh, you can see her weighing the options over there and not knowing which one, or which way to go or what to do next. So you are, have got some decision to make and you're looking at all the possibilities and all the options available to you at this particular moment. Uh, you are looking at the pros and cons really. So uh, you've got that uncertainty card. So you're in two minds about doing something over there. So it looks like, uh, you know, you want to make inroads or you want to move forward into the future, but it looks like you're, in, you're stuck uh, in this uh, decision or this dilemma and you're in two minds about what you want to do. So you are looking at all those options available for you and weighing your pros and cons, really. So uh, it looks like uh, you've got the patrimony card over there. You've been, uh, you know, getting advice from somebody around you, maybe a father-like figure, uh, and they've been or, uh, giving you some advice on how to, you know, uh, accumulate abundance, or maybe somebody's taken uh, you under their wing, and maybe you've been getting training from somebody as well. Uh, whatever ideas you have is very innovative, so it's very new, fresh ideas, and maybe this is the reason why you are able to, uh, you know, take these fresh ideas into the future, because you've got some really good ideas over there with that innovation card. Uh, they're going to make a lot of changes, and you are starting to take control. So, you know, making big life changes, big life decisions, and whatever ideas you have are really groundbreaking. Uh, so, you know, you may need to stop guess, second-guessing yourself because in these two cards, it seems like, you know, you're very anxious, you're very uncertain. So, you know, you have some good ideas. So stop, guess, stop uh, doubting yourself and, uh, you know, have a lot more confidence. So going into the future, you've got the transmutation card over here. So it looks, you know, it's the world card. And this is about completing something, finishing a project, starting something brand new. So, you know, maybe this particular cycle that you're going through is, uh, you know, coming to an end and you're going to have to make a decision about what you want to do for the future. So you might have finished a, a particular phase of your career. And maybe this is the reason why you're in such a dilemma or you're feeling so uncertain. Uh, maybe because you finished a job or you finished training and now you have to decide what you want to do. So there's a new moon starting there for you. So a new cycle beginning there. And you've completed something, you finished it off, and now you have to make a decision about what you want to do for the future. So you're sitting back there, you, you can see there again with a high priestess between those two pillars there, trying to decide. You're doing your research, you know, you, you, you're really not sure about what to do. So uh, you are weighing those pros and cons as well and looking at all the eventualities. Uh, and, you know, um, maybe there are things that you need to go and research and find out about because she's got this veil on so with the veil things are usually hidden uh there's something that you need to find out first there's information that's missing you need to go and find that out so you need to go and do some research uh before you make this big decision and this will probably uh be something where you know whatever information that you're missing or whatever research that you do is going to help you or decide what to do so uh you need that you know almost enlightenment you've got those two uh globe or those two orbs above you you need that light to coming that that information to come in uh, the high priestess is usually about following your own instincts but doing it from a, a place where uh, you have information available for you so it needs to be an informed choice uh, that you make so make sure you are doing your uh, research and even speaking to people is a good idea uh, you know, you don't necessarily need to tell people what you want to do. The high priestess is definitely telling you to, you know, keep your secrets to yourself. But you can ask for some advice and, um, you know, from people around you and then take all what everything that they've got to say, weigh it up and then decide what you want to do for the future. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to be using the uh, Book of Shadows uh, tarot for the main read.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, um, you've got that Five of Cups. So you can see you've been probably doing a lot of study recently. So you might have just completed, uh, you know, uh, a course, or you might have uh, uh, completed a degree, or you might have just qualified for something uh, that you've been studying for for a long time. And, you know, uh, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself, you can see, and also a lot of time with your books, uh, with your education as well. And maybe you're feeling a bit... Um, despondent uh, you might be feeling a bit depressed as well maybe you're feeling a bit lonely as well with that uh, five of cups uh, maybe something's happened that has caused a little bit of disappointment as well uh, maybe you are expecting too much from yourself and maybe things didn't pan out the way you wanted to so there's a bit of upset going on over there and you've got the uh, you know the five of cups as well with it so you're feeling a bit lonely, unsupported, maybe feeling a bit of loss. So there's something that has happened uh, within your career uh, or within your training or something that has come to an end uh, that has made you feel very, very upset, very unhappy. It seems like something has ended as well as far as that career goes because the card underneath that is the Ten of Swords. So you've either walked away from some kind of job because of a lot of problems. There may have been legal issues that you were dealing with. Uh, it looks like you know you've ended a particular cycle, uh, and you're moving on. Uh, so maybe you know it looks almost as though you know you've you've just finished off a, a course or some kind of study. You've qualified. You've had to leave everything behind, and you're changing uh, gears completely. Or this could well be that you even left a job uh, because this is about legal endings to a particular thing. There may have been a lot of drama. Uh, you've had to uh, come out of that, walk away from that situation. It's left you feeling very depressed. And also there's been financial loss as well. So there could have been a loss of job. You're feeling, you know, um, confused. This girl looks pretty confused in this wood and she doesn't know what to do. And she's standing there in the middle of winter. So there is feeling isolated, but there's also that financial loss that you're feeling as well. And you're crying about it at this particular moment. Now you've got that five of wands. So there are three fives over here. So you were dealing with whatever has gone on within this work situation has been very, very difficult. You have had a lot of fighting and arguments. You had to, de uh, you know, defend yourself, but people, uh, you know, uh, it seems like there was a lot of very competitive people stirring up a lot of issues, and you may have lost your job from this particular, there may have been an argument, there seems to have been some kind of big drama that happened over there, and you may have been let go, or you may have walked out from the job as well. Uh, maybe you walked out and there's some legal issues pending as well, but there's a lot of financial loss and you've been dealing with a lot of difficult people and a very, very difficult situation as well. It seems like you may have been bullied or dominated within that particular, um, you know, situation. Uh, you seem to have been working under a lot of deadlines, uh, and but people giving you a very, very hard time over there. And it looks like it's taken its worst on you because you've got that Five of Cups, which is feeling very despondent, very upset, uh, very miserable. So it seems like, you know, you've been working pretty hard. She's got all these books over there, uh, but it looks like, you know, you've been let down uh, with that Five of Cups. Now, you had the Five of Swords in the past, so it looks like there was a lot of vindictive behavior. Maybe people are causing a lot of issues for you. So, uh, you know, where you were trying to succeed, uh, people were doing things that were behind your back and uh, preventing you from going and becoming successful. Or even if you were successful, they were giving you a, a really hard time uh, stirring up a lot of problems and a lot of issues. These are very nasty people that you seem to have been dealing with. You've gotten all five, uh, four fives in the in this first part of this reading. So it looks like you've gone through a really, really rotten time. And it seems like, you know, there's that Ten of Swords, which is another nasty card as well to have. So a lot of, of problems that that you are coming through. And now you've got that Queen of Wands. So you can see that you have been dealing with somebody that has been going and stirring up a lot of problems. Maybe you've tried to sort things out, but they have not been uh, very nice about the whole things. Maybe you've been very uh, dominated by this particular person. They've been holding you back. So this could be a fire sign person that you're dealing with, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius uh, energy coming through. Uh, that caused a lot of drama and a lot of chaos and, you know, stirred up a lot of issues where, uh, you know, you've ended up maybe losing your job or ended up uh, where people have all formed, uh, you know, have turned against you, really. And now you're feeling very isolated, very out of... Um, 
uh, unsupported wherever you are. But it seems like it may have been the workings of this particular person, uh, because this is not your energy. The Queen of Wands, Wands is a fire energy. You are an air sign. So it looks like this particular person might be in a position of authority, but also causing a lot of problems. So what's in your mind? You've got the seven of cups over here. So it looks like you've walked away from this particular situation right now and you're looking at all your options. So there is the possibility of you doing further study. That might be something that you are considering carefully, uh, but you're looking at all your options, weighing all your pros and cons and trying to come up with a decision there. So going into the future, you've got the Emperor card over here. So there's some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with within this particular situation. You can see with that Ten of Swords immediately below it, there is some kind of legal decision that is pending over here, and it looks like that's going to be coming into to play right now. Uh, you know, there seems to be calendars on both these cards, uh, you know, this card here and that card. So there's some kind of, uh, you know... There's some kind of date that might be really important there on that particular calendar. You might be trying to get everything sorted out, uh, you know, trying to get your finances sorted out, trying to get a legal help as well. So this could be well what you're doing at this particular moment. But it looks like there's some kind of judgment that will be pending, some kind of legal decision that will be pending. You might be doing a lot of research as well or might be even seeking some legal counsel as well uh, with regards to this. Now, you're going through that tower moment, so maybe you didn't expect to lose this particular position that you're in. So it looks like there's been a job loss there, or you've been uh, let go from this position, and there was a lot of drama. The tower co calls, you know, shows breakdown of things and being thrown out of that situation, uh, and um, you know, not knowing where you're going to land. So you've landed you know, in a situation where there's a financial hardship that you're going through right now, uh, after going through a lot of drama with these people, and you know, you're quite shocked at what happened as well. Uh, you may have gotten it an, in a form of some kind of communication, uh, but it's been something that has really rocked your world. So being in a very, very difficult situation and now possibly facing some kind of legal uh, problems as well. And you've been feeling very tied up, so very, very anxious about what is going on at the moment, feeling very restricted, maybe not being able to do anything about whatever happened as well. Uh, you know, it looks like you're trying to research, you're trying to find out um, answers to whatever happened but with this Eight of Swords, uh, you know, it's being in such a difficult, awful, con conflicted situation and not knowing your way out from it. So what you want is, you know, you want to be able to get free from it. Uh, you're very, very stressed out. It looks like you need some kind of uh, break or relaxation or you need something to get your mind off it. You need to come up with a new strategy on how to deal with this. And this card is also about maybe going and seeking some kind of legal advice or legal guidance. Now, going into the future and the final outcome over here, so a judgment is coming through for you there. Uh, you've got the Eight of Cups and you've got the King of Pentacles. So there is a judgment coming in over there. Now, the, uh, the judgment card here is about maybe a legal judgment as well, uh, a decision being made. Uh, that is going to be quite different from what you expected as well. You're still crying over the loss of the past over there. Uh, you know, you didn't want to leave the situation, maybe paying homage to the past too much over there. But also with the judgment card is you've been called on to do something totally different. So this, it seems like maybe this needed to happen in order for you to move in a different direction. Maybe the universe doesn't want you to move uh, in the direction you were going in. Maybe that was never your life plan. Uh, so maybe this is the reason why um, this has happened so that you can move or change, uh, you know, your path. And whatever your change of path is, is going to be something that generates finances. So you're going to be given a second chance to do something. And it looks like you might be even getting some help coming in from somebody in the past. So you might be running into somebody that you meet in the past that might even offer you a job. So something will change. Uh, you know, it's going to be on your side because with the judgment card, whatever the changes that you make, it will be successful. Now, you've got the Eight of Cups over here, and this is walking away from that particularly difficult situation. Now, this might be that you're also going to be given the opportunity to further your career by studying or doing more, uh, you know, uh, working with information. So this is learning. But whatever it is, you're, you're leaving that situation behind with that Eight of Cups and walking away from it. Uh, you know, you're, need, you know, you're needing to follow a different career path or a different life path in itself. And you've got the King of Pentacles. So um, there might be a, a judgment that comes in that ends up, uh, you know, giving you a good financial payoff. So you, if you're going through any kind of legal battle uh, that, you know, that you're facing, any kind of legal issue that you're facing, it looks like money is going to be coming your way. 
um, you also might be uh, offered, uh, you know, somebody might be offering you a new job, uh, and that pays you pretty well, uh, too. So you might need to network uh, in order for you to get that. But it looks like there may be somebody that comes in that offers you a really well-paid job, uh, you know. It might be somebody very, very close by, you know, here it's, it's a neighbor. Uh, so it might be somebody that you know. Uh, that might offer you something and that pays you pretty well. Uh, but you're definitely leaving that old circumstance, moving away. And like I said, there could be further study, uh, but also there might be somebody that is, is going to be offering you something new. So you are at that crossroads. You have to move on. The universe has, uh, you know, orchestrated it with that tower card um, so that you, you leave something behind that was not serving you, possibly, and moving on. And if there's a judgment pending, it might be that, you know, you get... Uh, some financial um, payoff from it as well. Uh, so going through a very, very hard time at this particular moment, but hang in there. Things will turn around for the better. So let's just draw some cards from the uh, fairy tarot, and this is for the oracle read, and you've got uh, the Wheel of Fortune, which says delays are over, sudden and unexpected good luck and a new car or uh, travel. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Things are going to change for the better. And although you've gone through so much of drama right now, it looks like the Wheel of Fortune coming in to end that cycle of drama and push you forward into something. You've got the spinning wheel over there, which implies that you're going to be getting a new job soon. So some brand new job coming in for you there. You've got the Three of Springs. So plan your next steps uh, with an eye for the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. And satisfaction from a job well done. So this is about collaboration with a lot of people you might be dealing with uh, working with a team of people and these people are going to be more supportive for you and um, start making some plans for the future as well and be patient it looks like you know things are going to start looking up for you over there and you might have a lot of trouble as well involved especially with that three of spring then you've got that nine of spring so protect the fruits of your labor prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead so whatever problems and obstacles be prepared that you know that could be the case uh, and uh, you know make sure that whatever you're doing you're well planned up uh, you know, you're well researched as well, and you will be able to sort through whatever problems come your way. But you do need to, so the Nine of Spring is telling you to just hang in there, have that strength, have that resilience. You know, this might be the final, the last battle that you're fighting, uh, but success will come in after that. Because the Wheel of Fortune is going to bring that in for you. So, best of luck, and uh, it's, it's really, you know, I'm so sorry that you're having such an awful time, but things will change for the better. Just stay positive. Um, so, uh, uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.